Con. It's a lot of gas it's producing. Those are big bubbles. Hey guys, it's Chris and Greg, and uh, we've come up with a new idea for the generation of the hydrogen. It's a, just a different fabrication plan from the book. I mean, you guys dove off the cliff with a whole new electronic scheme. We want to do it with the fabrication. We looked at some stuff online, and we saw some people getting a lot of gas from plates. So we came up with an idea that's pretty simple. Um, we got a sheet of stainless steel, and um, we've been cutting discs out of it. This is the shape of the disc, but they'll basically sandwiched together. We'll have an electrode that's negative, an electrode that's positive, and that's this stainless steel threaded rod. So one side will go up the other, and the notch will allow the electrode to not touch the other one. So we can hopefully have positive, negative, positive, negative, and hopefully, I'm no hydrogen genius, but that'll give us double the surface area. Um, with our first design, which was Similar to yours, but smaller because we used uh, conventional tubing that was available without machining or welding or anything else. And we got a pretty good distance. I think it was this 0.065. But it works. So we were thinking about taking this piece of plastic that we got by accident from the plastic people that you have to order from. It's pretty large. It's 3.75 inner diameter. So we thought a 3-inch disc, bunch of plates. Hmm. And then we started crunching the numbers. If we fill this thing up, with the plates we're designing, we would have, as opposed to our original design, it had 150 square inches, we'd have 1,500 square inches. Now here's one of our plates so far, I mean this one's kind of butchered, but I am plasma cutting them out of stainless sheet that we bought. I think between the threaded rod and the sheet, I think we spent 40 bucks on it. We're going to knock out as many of these as my expendables will allow. I'm running on a little uh, uh, plasma cutter that I got, it's a, more of a toy. It really doesn't blow through much uh, thickness, but for this case, let me let me fire it up and show you what we're doing. We built a little template out of wood, and so that we could get the notch, we just put a little nail in there, because the standoff on this plasma cutter is a quarter inch from the center to the edge. So let me see how, uh, <laughs> see if I can pull this off. wasn't the most easygoing of the group we've made so far. There we have it. We're going to drill holes for a spacer in the middle, and we're also going to drill a hole for the, uh, the electrode, the stainless steel rod to go through. When we're done, our hopes are to bring this thing out, hook it up to your electronics, and uh, see what we get, because I think it's going to produce a whole lot more gas. Stay tuned for more. All right, you guys, uh, we started a little video before. Well, I guess we'll just add this on to the end of it. Here was our plan. Here's our little test mode. Uh, that's 21 plates of stainless steel that we chopped out. You can see our, our little pieces that we made. But at any rate, we have uh, two stainless steel rods. We just had zinc plated bolts for now. We're going to order some stainless steel ones. And we use these little spacers from a package of welding rod that I had just so that the uh, plates wouldn't touch one another, the electrodes. Now, let's get to, on to business. This is, what did you say, Chris? How many, uh, the original tubes that we said were 150. 150 uh, square inches. Square inches of, of. And with 21 plates, we have 280 square inches. So this is a little bit more um, surface area. Yeah, we need to dump it over. The plates are so close together, they actually hold oxygen and water but okay turning it on now straight to a battery no electronics there art uh there we go didn't have a good grab on it didn't have a good connection
Uh, that's just 21 plates. Uh, we could easily fill that tube with 50 or 75 and still have room for a, um, a water temperature, or not temperature, water level gauge. But it is working straight off the battery and producing pretty well. If I shake it like that, Jesus, look at that. It's crazy. They might be too close together. We're using tap water, and I think that's why it's turning brown, but if I just shake it a little, look at the bubbles that come up. Look at that. Or tip it to the side a little. And maybe there's something to be said for that tipping it to the side idea we had, too. That's a pretty good flow, and that's better than what we have, and I think uh, the surface area of our tubes is equal or better than what you've designed uh, or fabricated. So, you know, something to be said. Again, we want to bring this up and hook it up to your electronics art. Uh, looking forward to that trip. Next week, 